Hey guys, what's up? So first we're gonna start off with a white body paint and use that to outline the details of the look that we're trying to achieve. I'm not doing anything perfect because I'm gonna be using colors later on and you won't end up seeing these white lines. Starting off with a lime green body paint, I'm going to fill in the giant green leaves first and following that I'm gonna take a teal body paint and do the little leaves in between and the little leaves that go around them. These don't have to be perfect. We're gonna go in later on and clean them up before we add our lines. Next, I'm gonna take a light pink body paint and fill it in halfway, just like this, and leave space for some dark pink. Now, I'm gonna take a light purple and fill in this middle line, leaving space for another color. And then I'm gonna take the yellow and do the same thing as well. Now we're gonna take a darker pink and paint that over top the light pink. And then we're gonna take the red and blend it all the way down with all the colors together. That way you get a cool ombre effect. Then we're gonna take a dark purple and blend that with the lighter purple, just like we did with the pink. We want it to all kind of melt instead of look two different shades. What helps me is I'm gonna take a clean dry brush and blend them all together. And that way you get more of a seamless look than more of a PC effect. I'm gonna take a lighter purple here and do the same thing, going back in with a brush that has nothing on it and blending them all together. Now we're gonna blend that yellow with some orange and give it an ombre effect. And then going with a dark blue and we're gonna add some more shading to these little leaves. And if you guys haven't noticed by now, it is pretty much a bunch of repetition, just shading everything with a darker version of the color that we used. Now I'm gonna take a light green shade and take it up my neck a little bit, not all the way, cause we're gonna be doing a lot of black detail, so we're gonna save that for later. All right, and on we go to the most time consuming part of this look, but it does make the colors pop more and at the end it is totally worth it. This is actually the second time that I've filmed this video. The first time did not turn out so well, so second go around was much better. So at this point, I already know what I wanna do with my lines, and it went way smoother and actually went a little bit quicker. You can do whatever you want here when it comes to lines or how you wanna fill in each leaf. You could take reference photos offline or just come up with it with your brain. That's what I did here. But like I said, this is the second time I filmed this, so I already had some ideas and things that I had already done that I liked from the first time. If you guys get stuck on an idea or trying to figure out what you want to do to fill in these blank spaces, the easiest thing for me and the least time consuming was these little bitty lines. It saved me so much time and because they were so little and intricate, they made the look more detailed and not too busy or cluttered because we tried to make each leaf an intricate design. Honestly, all you have to do is go in there and make some simple shapes like triangles and hearts and lines, and it'll all come together and look like one cohesive piece. Just an FYI, I actually had no idea that that lash was just chilling there on the end of my brush until I actually started editing this video. That's what happens when you do like four hours straight of just lines on your body. Anyway, so now we're going back in on the little leaves. Same thing again, line, 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 line. And little details, nothing too much because you don't want to make them too busy and you don't want it to be cluttered. Plus, we're on the home stretch and it's almost time for us to start working on that face. So on this last row right here, I decided to change it up and instead of doing straight lines, I did little round half circles. I wanted it to kind of be different but match at the same time and it seemed more suiting to do these weird egg shaped loops instead of just lines. All right, so now I'm taking a super stiff brush into my black paint and dabbing it on my hand to get some excess off. 
And then at certain points of the look, I am going to fade it out to make it look like we have dots kind of coming out from behind the crisp, clean lines. I didn't want to have the same texture throughout the entire piece, so by adding these dots, it changed the look for me, and I think it gave it a cooler effect, making it more tattoo style than just a clean body paint look. We're going to finish off the neck with some light blue and some dark blue, and then just like that, we are on to the face. I'm going in with the NYX Photo Loving Primer because we are about to go to Smurf Town with this NYX Vivid Brights cream color in blueprint and trust me when I say we are going in on it because we will be doing this for quite some time and by quite some time I mean this took me 15 minutes to smurf myself next I'm gonna go in with my NYX jumbo pencil and milk and then I'm taking their eyeshadow and whipped cream on a fluffy brush to set that I'm going to go back in with the NYX Jumbo Liner and Milk on a little beauty sponge to add highlights to the face, the nose, chin, under eye, you know, the huge. And then for contour, I'm going to go in with the SFX Cream Color in blue and use that in the contours of my cheeks, forehead, nose, and then I'm going to go in with the translucent powder and set all of that and bake that Smurf base. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Away We Glow Liquid Highlighter in Liquid Prism and also the Duochrome Illuminating Powder in Snow Rose. Great combo. And I'm going to deepen up my contour with the Primal Colors in Hot Blue. For my crease and the bridge of my nose, I'm going to go in with another Primal Color in Hot Yellow. And then for the outer corners, I'm going to go in with Hot Pink. Then I'm going to go in with hot orange and put that all over the center of the lid and use a fluffy brush to blend it all out. Then we're going back in with hot pink to deepen up those corners again. I'm going to go in with the SFX cream color in yellow to have a base to adhere a metallic shade on. For the metallic color, we're going to go in with a prismatic shadow in gilded and then buff out some of that hot pink shade underneath your lower lash line. And for brows, I'm going to go in with a dark blue paint, clean them up, make them nice and crisp, and we're going to look snatched as a smurf. Then I'm going to go and highlight even more with some NYX pigments in Luna. For liner, I'm going in with the Strictly Vinyl Liner in Crone. We're not going to do anything too crazy with the liner because we're going to pop on some false lashes, and they're pretty dramatic, so we don't need that much going on. See what I mean? So now I'm going to go in with some matte liquid eyeliner in black to... You guessed it, add more lines. So now we're going to go ahead and add lots of little leaves underneath this line. I did an even amount on each side, and then after I was done with those, I went back in and made each one thicker and even so that I could add cute little embellishments. And because I like to make things difficult for myself, I went in and added even smaller leaves on the inside of those ones. But guess what? Now we're going to do some dots. For some final touches, I'm going to go in with some NYX Glitter Primer and put some glue down. And I'm going to take these pearlescent flakes and add them all on top of the glue. Sparky! I'm going in with some black liquid lipstick. Ladies, shave your mustache. I forgot. And then I'm getting that Luna pigment back out and dabbing it all over the center of my lips. Finishing up the neck, we're going back in with that dark blue body paint and blending it down, covering up the spots that we miss. And for the final time, we are going back in with the black body paint and finishing up the line work on the neck. You guys cannot see it in my face, but I was so excited to finish this part of the black lines. Not to mention, at this point, it is already 3 o'clock in the morning, and I've been painting myself since 4 o'clock this afternoon. Now, just like on the face, I'm going to go back in with the NYX Glitter Primer and put down some glue, and also add those pearlescent flakes to those spots.
And for the finishing touches on the face, we're going to go in with the lime green body paint and fill in the empty spaces in between the larger and smaller leaves. And then I'm going to go in with a NYX Faux White Inner Eye Brightener Pen in the shade Baby Powder. To finish off the body, I'm going in with a similar paint color that we used on the face, and I'm just going to paint all the empty spaces that I see. And girl, we are done. Just kidding. Now we are. Go ahead and throw on a wig, and you're done. Alright guys, well this is the finished product of my Aku Aku Goddess. Hope you guys loved it. It's like 4.30 in the morning, so I'm going to shower, take all my crap down, 